inside of that shift from the I to the we that includes the I, <laughs> there is a, a rebalancing of these masculine and feminine energies in our field. There is, there's a lot of healing in all directions. There is a, a, a rise of the feminine that is important because it was just pushed down and back for a while. Okay? And we can feel the results of that, that wounding of the feminine. We can feel the result of that in our world, in the destruction of the earth, in the destruction of our habitat. We're the only species that is killing our own habitat. In the way that we treat women, in the way that we value intuition and other forms of knowing, the imbalance of, of how many men are in power. This is all a result of the wounding of the feminine. And in the wounding of the masculine, which is equally prevalent, we see our fascination with violence, the use of aggression to get what we want, in the need to take power. Okay. Our overvaluing of doing. <laughs> these are all results of these woundings in our collective field. And so one of the things that's happening in the rising of the feminine for all of us, it's like you can imagine that instead of needing more stimulation, we can increase our sensitivity. And can you feel that? Can you feel the feminine support of reestablishing and awakening, reawakening, remembering that sensitivity in us? This is a part of that rise of the feminine so that we can move away from needing so much stimulation and come back into balance and restore our ability and our body. This is why our body can help so much with this. Our body's capacity to feel and to be attuned. In some ways, our whole body is feminine in this way. It allows us to be sensitive. It allows us to be in relationship with. It's part of why we've cut off from the body. 